<laughs> You're like, where's the jump fence? Ooh, the prop? Where's the proposition? <laughs> prop, proposition 17. Oh, man. Yeah, it's dark. No, did you, did it you read probably, this? It was probably like two years ago when I first thought of it. And I, I bought the website. Like, I bought jumpfence.com, jumpfence2020.com. Uh, I, I started everything and I was like, oh, maybe I should hold on to this for a little this bit. Is, how like, how long ago was that? Like, two years ago is when I first like thought of it. Okay. You know, when it first came to me, and I was like, uh, somebody had to have done this already. Like it's too like too close. Like what? So I researched it and couldn't find anything on the yeah. internet. And I was like, I got to do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah bought fresh, the website, bro. bought everything, and, I, and then it was about two years ago. And I was like, oh, should I go for it and just push it? And I was like, no, I'm gonna hold on to it. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait to see what goes on. Yeah. Can you time. can you vote? Can I vote? Yeah. I can vote. Okay. Yeah, I was yeah. just wondering if you're. You yeah. know, some people. Felons got their, you know, yeah, you know, <laughs> no, and, and and a lot of it was that I was like, oh, should I put it out? Because I didn't want. I mean, I'm not a fan of, of Trump. Obviously, right. I mean, right. yeah, it's pretty obvious. Um, <laughs> but I also didn't didn't know who was going to be coming up next, so I didn't right. want it to be like full, like, oh, he's he's for the other team or. Right. You know, because that's what it is. You got to find out. You got to research. You got to know what's going on. You know, before, you know, with with the way the shit's going, it's like, oh, you're you're this. Do you yeah, feel like your right, vote? Yeah. Do you feel like your vote counts as much as it should, or do you think because like the things that you're doing like speaks out more, so you have the ability to like, you know, put put your two cents in instead of your just your vote? Yeah, I would say so. I mean, I think, I think nowadays almost anybody's fucking thing does i mean everybody has a voice now you know right. with the social media and right. like even if you're not famous or or whatever like somebody's going to listen to something you have to say something's going to resonate with somebody else and you know it's you can create your own echo chamber but at the same time you you can find new people and so i think everybody's voice kind of you know right yeah no it's it's people i think try to you know, people don't have the information, like, just readily available all the time. So once they see it on social media, whoever's posting it, like, they're going to do their research on that and try and follow it. Right, right. You know? But, but I think it's, it's dope because, obviously, it's right now during the election. Even if it's kind of like a funny, like, reference, like, jump the fence, it's, it's still bringing, for sure. <laughs> it's bringing that attention yeah, to yeah. the whole process of what's going yeah. on and bringing your, the attention in a comedy way to, like, what that means yeah. it's, it's just the same but it's so it's so much more i, I mean, mean it, yeah. it, it, it's not just like jump fence like we need you know people to jump the fence and come mm-hmm. here it's kind of like jump ship like do right. we really want to be in the whole <laughs> shit you know what i mean like right. it's kind of that too you know it's not right. just like oh yeah everybody fucking jump fence everybody right. come here yeah it's like jump ship too you know like let's right. jump the fence the other way and get the fuck <laughs> out of here because who know what you know what's gonna go on next like right this is a show that <laughs> it's a you, like, it's like you, a movie huh? yeah you, you, it's like what's gonna happen next like this is like a movie that i would pay fucking 25 dollars oh, to see jesus for real like like if you seen it in the trailer you'd be like what what who yeah what like yeah. this happened yeah. this right. this happened right. it's, it's not even over yet it's man. not even over <laughs> so that i mean it's, it's not even like climax or nothing right. like we're oh, still Nah, don't even say that, man. It's <laughs> <laughs> over coming January, back to man. the... Introduce our guest, Luis. Who, All right. who, who are we sitting here with? Yeah, well, as you guys can tell from the from the title of this video, now we're here with uh, Rick Rodriguez here. Um, yeah. First episode here at our Selected Series studio. It's an honor, man. Thank you for coming yeah, by. For yeah, real, thank you, guys. Thanks thank for you. joining us, man, yeah. and being our, our first guest here in the studio. My pleasure, my pleasure. Give us a little bit of background on, on Rick. Fill, fill, in, fill in the... Yeah, so, so you know, my brother Pete, he's the owner of Flat Black. And uh, Big you... Yes, sir. And, <laughs> and, and you recently did a show um, at Flat Black. So tell us a little bit about that, that art show. That show was... Back oh, in February. Wow, that was that show was kind of like a long time coming. And it actually happened... Uh, it's I, I'll go back to some, like, the things I had planned for that show. And it was going to be um, interactive. It definitely was going to be interactive. We were going to do something kind of big. And, you know, we were, I was going through a couple different things in, in my mind. And, you know, like even I, I hate going political stuff, but there was like a lot of political stuff I was going to get into. And I was like, no, just I, I try to stay out, out of that right. stuff as, t- much, as much as I can. Tell us what it was called, the, your show. 
the show was called, um, which wasn't called this at the beginning when I first thought of it, but it was Through the Lines. Through the Lines. Um, and it's some, of, some of it has to do with the messaging. Some of it has to do with um, the style that I have. You know, I don't really consider it a style yet for myself, but a lot of people are like, oh, I like that style, your style, this mm -hmm. and that. So right. that's kind of where it came from, Through the Lines. Um, and then, would, would you consider it pop art? Like uh, graffiti, graffiti style? I, 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 it's um, definitely influenced by graffiti. I mean, I, I, I grew up, I didn't do a... I started off in graffiti, right. but as soon as I got busted, went to juvie. Wait, before you got sure. busted, tell us how you got started with uh, just painting. Well, um, we, we heard a little bit, and, and um, if you guys want to know a little bit more about Rick, uh, there is a little oh, documentary man. that our friend Kiros. Omar Kiro's... Uh, yeah, sat down cool. with you. Was, was this was back fire. in February, right? Yes, that was right before the show. Okay, oh, and so he talks. You talk about um, how your brother influenced you. Yeah, I wanted to sure. ask you because uh, I've listened to that like maybe six or seven <laughs> yeah. times. Oh, right on. So <laughs> just to, so I can yeah. kind of yeah, get a, yeah. a understanding of who you are, and he inspired. Does he still? I'm wondering about your brother. You know what he he does in in. In different ways, uh, he does like um, like metal work, mm -hmm. uh, cool. um, so he kind of still does, but he passed it on. My niece is an amazing artist. Sweet. She's thirteen wow. years old, and she blows my mind. Like, like I, I I was like wanting to push her, but I'm I'm like I don't know if it's time yet. As far as like like on on social media. Oh, okay. Right. Social media yeah. is so Sharing brutal. It. Like you know, you share it and like. People are like criticizing and stuff like that, and she's still young, you know. I'm, I'm like, oh, God. what about just managing her and page then, and just putting it out there? Yeah, that's a, that's a that would be that would be a good idea. How did you uh, how did you get into art? Like, tell us a little bit how it all happened. Well, it was a lot of it was my brother. Um, you know, he was always a hip hop head. He he used to DJ, always scratching records, drawing, right. painting. So it was like graffiti at first. Yeah, it's kind of uh, yeah. related to you. That's, huh? Yeah, that's what he did. I mean, I I. Yeah, for real. like papers all around his room. My younger brother and I would go in there and take his papers and like see them and draw them and redraw them and copy them and right. you know take them around school. Like, oh look what we did! How you cool know? you are! Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> and you know, and that's what it was. We we just you know idolized our brother and tried to be like him as much as we could. And right. you know, that's kind of finally. I mean, we were fucking toys at the beginning. Where yeah. you know, a lot of <laughs> just you know, get started. Toy being a toy, <laughs> being a toy, it kind of it's funny because it, it 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 it's kind of like a negative thing, but yeah. I think you have to kind of be a toy to to, right. to find your own voice. You, you know gotta work I mean? for like, yours. You gotta work. You yeah, know? it's like that fake it till you make it. You gotta be a toy before you can you know. Gotcha. And get it. And do you see that? Um, like, do you see your niece inspired now by your brother? Like oh, the same way sure. you were? For sure. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm inspired by my niece right yeah. now. Like, that's where it's Dang. at. Like, that's what's she up. like. She does like character stuff, and I'm. I, I do some character stuff, but not even on her level. What's her uh, name? Isabel. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, cool. So uh, we were leaving off at, at the show. Oh, so yeah, we're oh, getting yeah, into yeah. the show. <laughs> yeah. Bring us back. Yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah. so the show was uh, through through the lines. And um, I, I wanted to kind of, since it was like my first show, I kind of wanted to, to kind of show where like I came from and who inspired me. So I ended up going with a theme of painting portraits of all my friends that are artists. Oh, so that's right. So yeah. that's what the whole series is. It's actually all of my friend artists painted in my style. In my style. But with a little bit of a twist of like the Mayan culture, um, yeah. just to kind of bring in the influence of of art and craft making. So that's what I brought the like Mayan. Not so much like, you know, I am Hispanic and I do you know consider myself you know a descendant of all that. Right. Yeah. But I, I I wanted to bring in the the craft and and the artisans of that time. Right. And that's that's what I brought. So that's why I put masks. Mass on yeah, all of them. Yeah. Fucking dope. And, and then the cell phone, 
Everybody yeah. was like, oh, it's like a, a Mayan doing a selfie. I kind of brought the cell phone in to kind of like show the time that we're in. Yeah. We're in like the smartphone era. Right. Like everybody that's kind of like a, like a hieroglyphic kind of like approach. Hier- like, yeah. So that's right? kind of, yeah. so it was like kind so of like the, <laughs> the, the two different worlds kind of colliding. So they're, I seen them as like the, the what is it? Like the. I that's like the, the modern, modern time, the like modern. hieroglyphic kind of yeah. thing now, that's right? That's so crazy. Yeah. yeah. So yeah I never thought of, about that's it. That's like kind of right? what, what that whole thing was about. Yeah. Was my friends that are artists, that's them. You know, here's the Mayan culture that did it before them. And then, yeah. and then the phone is to signify the era we're in. And then I also put the sun in there for like the dawning of the new time, which is my friends that are artists and that's amazing cool. all right, and all right. That's so you have them in pins do you have them like in another merge you yes have them like print, print i outs? so i re- i recently did prints so we got the prints so, that are going to be on my website before this airs <laughs> sure. and then uh we got the pins we did the pins yep. and then what else cool. did i do you guys you collaborated with omar and made a t- t-shirt oh yeah I, yes i, I yeah. cop one so of those that was that it was, was nice like and it all happened during sure. everything where where the shutdown. Because even while I was painting, there's two different like things that I remember while I was painting. Like I was the first time I was like actually painting, and my wife was in the room with me, and she like screamed like almost like a weird scream. And she looked at her phone and like I was like, "What's going on?" Like I had headphones on and I'm painting and I can hear her like like gasp and like yeah. what's going on and she's like oh my god there's this thing called the coronavirus and it's happening in china and like look at this and like they're falling over and i'm like yeah i heard about that shit like i seen it on tiktok or whatever <laughs> yeah and i just kept painting yeah, with, with you know and that was going on while i was getting ready for the show and then a, another thing that happened same exact thing painting she screamed was like what's going on and i turn around and she's like Kobe just died. No. And I was like, uh, oh, yeah. Like the exact same thing. I was painting, had my headphones in. She screams, yells, points at her phone. Right. Damn. So it was like, those are the two things that, like. That's how you get your news, man. That's, <laughs> that's how you got your news, news dude. It's going to be <laughs> implanted in our hands. So, yeah. So years. that happened during the time I was getting ready for the show. And then Ooh. everything, like, got even closer. Like, oh, should we even do the show? Like, mm. Right. Because it, it, we, what was it, February 29th. So leap year, actually. It yeah. landed on leap year. Um, and we almost didn't do the show because of that. Like, we were like, should people gather? Like, what's going on? Like, yeah. that was before the shutdown. But we were already thinking, like, you know, how serious is this stuff? Right. Like, what right. are we going to do? Right. Did your artist friends see the paintings of yes the, oh they did before yeah. okay no 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 not before oh so they you saw unveiled it there. them there yeah. uh what was their reactions it was it was awesome right. yeah it right. was it was it was it was super good actually um well aaron aaron hansen yeah and then ryan they both have their paintings they both bought right. their paintings. oh so that was that's pretty awesome Jeez. To, to <laughs> so right. you know and i i got a print ready for p there's uh kylie's wants a print we're gonna we're gonna, You're gonna print it. them all yeah yeah they're all they're all prints already are all uh, um life size like uh no the original size they're pretty big though yeah they're we should get some for in here yeah 26 by oh, yeah. I, I have a picture of one but it's they're they're huge prints let everybody know your website where they can find this it's uh i believe in as one.com okay so it's the same as my instagram yeah where did that name come from yeah <laughs> Because <laughs> I, I always look you up as your name, but that, that always pops up. So I try to make it like so hard for people people to find me. So when they do, I'm like, you guys are fans. Yeah. Yeah. You guys are fans. Okay. okay. Dug no, around. That's, yeah. so, <laughs> that's, so, that's a good marketing strategy. Yeah. <laughs> no, Until you I, can't find them. When I, yeah. When I first started my Instagram, which was when it was apples only, apple only. No, I'm just. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, Better time. Instagram, <laughs> good old days. Yeah, Instagram. I was really into like, well, I've always been into funk, but um, I had a clothing brand. Um, I believe in funk, mm. so I did like so many like Bootsy Collins, uh, James oh, Brown, like so many different shirts, and it was all about funk, and that's what it was called. I believe in funk, so that was my name. 
for the longest time like even people would see me and be like oh i believe in funk i believe in funk so it's, it's funny now because it's i believe in as one now people uh-huh. are like oh i believe in as one but so that's that's how it started it just i believe in funk and then aaron hansen jose diaz and then um our other buddy uh we created a ancient youth uh yeah it started off ancient youth and then we started uh, into as one brothers uh. so it's still kind of like a crew or a little not really a crew but it's we come together and, and create art pieces um but it's as one brothers so i kind of switched it from i believe in funk to i believe in as one mm. oh, that's, so that's, that's uh, beautiful so that was like the only yeah change there so i just switched out funk for as one and i believe in as one so and i really like it because i i seriously believe in as one you know Right. That I think all of us are, even even the shit with all the political stuff. I think they're they're all humans. Like I, I hate that people are like that divide. Put, put people up also on like oh they're like demons and they can't be beaten or like no that they yeah. they're they're just like you you know they they just use you know the avenues that that they knew to get to where they're at and anybody can use them avenues you know it's right. a definitely rougher for other people like i'm not gonna say that it's not but they can be brought down to their knees you know what i mean yeah like just just like anyone else and and i also think with that we're all responsible for that i'm responsible for you you know you're responsible yeah. for me as far as like you know accountability the accountability yeah. and you know check <laughs> check your brother like hey you ain't acting right right now, so you know what's going on. So that's what I mean when when I say I believe in as one. You know, I believe that we're all on the same, you know, plane. We're not, you know, nobody's, yeah, nobody's got anything over anybody. To try know? to try Steve. to maintain w- the the topic, can we uh, just uh, talk about the the unite, the unite piece? The unite piece. The unite piece. The unite piece. Because we're just. I'm calling it that. Is that is that oh, yeah, is no, that what it's referred to as? I think right, it is, cool. yeah. I think I wrote, oh yeah, it's on there. <laughs> unite. Unite. The Unite piece. It actually, uh, Unity Flash was the up. first. Uh, Unity? It was going to be the first kind of thing. Mm-hmm. And it was just going to be large letters on the side of a building that said Unity. Oh. So that was literally what the whole project started off as. And your your eyes opened up right when I, when we looked over there and brought it up. So tell us, <laughs> tell us a little bit about it. <laughs> no, it... it do you think it still stands for like what does it mean to you before it, before you start telling us the story behind it like <laughs> what what does it, it invoke to you like yeah. what what is it it's it, well, it's kind of rough because paintings don't really do anything for me mm. i hate to say it that way uh. um my intention is there there's only like so many pieces that really resonate with me and it and it happens when i don't expect it like i have a few paintings at home that have done that and i don't know if it's because they they stick around me but most of the time when i don't see something you know it's like i do it and that's it it's done i, oh, I just, just want to say i just want to say though like just because it might not mean a lot to you like that doesn't discredit anything from like how much work went yeah, into right, it right sure, because sure. check like that's insane what it what it means yeah, like the the crazy amount of work like you can tell so i'm i mean like just for the listener just because he's saying <laughs> you know the meaning wise like that doesn't mean like the work didn't go into it you know the sweat and well, all that I, I mean it does you mean something to me like when i created you know unit unite you know it's it's kind of like the same thing as as i believe in as one mm-hmm. you know it's unite like let's not just you know divide each other by saying oh you're this you're that so we're no longer the same right, right. you know because that's that's where that's where we get the spice in in you know in our culture is that everybody's not the same but we're still you know we're we're still able to coexist and and we should be able to you know rise you know together right. not you know right. not try and like push someone down so you can come up or or you know we got to stay on the same same team you know bes- despite our differences I agree to disagree i, I yeah, think that's so, like a big thing right now that like not possible yeah it's the spices you know what i mean yeah like the spice sweet and sour like Like, that shit goes good together. right (laughs) right you can't be like oh you're sour so you can't get in my food Uh Uh i'm fucking with sweet 
<laughs> like, <laughs> I don't <true>. know. <laughs> yeah. If you go to That's food, a, you can't go wrong. Like, yeah. if you want to argue with somebody, like, food, bro. Come yeah, on, of like, course. Right. Break bread. Like, That's you, the, have you had a tahini can? Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, that's, <laughs> that's spicy. Uh, spicy yeah. and sweet, you know? <laughs> yeah. So but like that's, a, I don't know. That's, but yeah, that's kind of what, what it means. Is right. It's kind of along the same lines as, as, as one. You mm-hmm. know, we, we all belong on the same, on the same team. You know? Yeah. Right. And, and just so everyone's clear, why don't you give... Um, you know, a, a breakdown of, of what the intention should be when, when you know, getting hold of this piece and sharing it in your space. Well, I mean, I, I think it, it's just that, you know, that we should, you know, come together and at the same time not just be a part of something because you think it's the right thing, but know that it's the right thing. Yeah. yeah. You know, not because you're going to profit off of it. Right. Or, you know, like, you gotta no, come together I, I, as one. I think it's I think it's kind of weird, you know, to profit off of something like that. You know. Yeah. Right. Does your current work continue to uh, work with this mindset, or what are you do? What are you doing right now? Always. I mean, I've I've always. It, <laughs> if you look at my Instagram lately, it's it's been pretty rough. Um, it's I I kind of explain that in some of the things I do, because since I've been putting things on like social media or or even out to the to the world or to the masses i've I've tried to keep it positive um tried lately it's been a little rough mm. um but I've always tried to like inspire and show unity and like you know i i guess complete positivity i mean that's that's just it i mean i've I've tried to keep that going as much as possible because I think that's what's gonna defeat that evil you know like giving it power and talking about the shit that's going on you're giving it more power yeah. i mean right. so we need Facts. we need to put you know conversations if some, if and stuff like this if something's fucking too sour yeah when you're making food <laughs> putting more sour in there just gonna make it's it not more gonna sour. help now you yeah. gotta put some sweet in there you gotta you know dilute I mean? it a little yeah, bit with so some sweet so that's 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 what Unite. it is you know? yeah that's where that's where your art comes in that's where conversations like this come in yeah. um because uh I, I believe this morning I saw this post where it says like you are what you consume like in your head like you're, you're yeah. it's like a diet and you're putting negativity in yourself yeah. you're just going to think negative thoughts yeah. and and your art like really inspired me to go out there and talk to Pete and and nice. get a hold get a hold of it because right. it, it 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 inspired me oh, like awesome, yeah that's why that's why I hit you up and I went straight to the the question like you mind sitting down with us and and um sharing your story with our, our listeners and yeah that's, well thank you it's it's awesome and that's our whole approach with with the podcast man you know it's a platform um for for the people to to come and and yep. have people understand right. what it is they're doing why they're doing it and other than like giving them the recognition, it, it's also to for, for them to lay out, you know, what's going on with them and what it all means. So, so I had a question, um, kind of going back. You said your brother was a DJ. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, does the colors you pick? Um, <laughs> colors. <laughs> does that does music influence that? Oh, mu- music influences f- for sure. And it, how? But it's strange because. Yeah. Like the last like four years, I'm not a music. I'm not into music. Okay. Mm. So, you, so you don't. So you normally don't listen to music. Like I that. normally don't. The past four years, before that, it was all music. Ah. You know, that was with work, with anything, because most of the stuff I do is graphic design. Okay. Like that's the way I pay bills. Is graphic works. You know, digital anything, digital. You know, marketing, videos, stuff like that. Yeah. So when I work, now I listen to people talk. It's like podcasts, like yeah, like what yeah. you guys are doing here. Yeah. Like, KPCC, you know, it's it's all, all of that. You know, you think so that's more nurturing to like your your psyche? I I thought it was because I was getting old, mm. um, but I don't <laughs> I, I don't know I don't know what it is. You know it, but uh, it yeah the music thing. So I I when I work out or or go for a run jog. Music right when I'm working, it's people talking. Yeah, and it, and it had right. it hasn't been that way. But the last like three years or so, it's all been listening to people talk while I work. Oh, that makes you sense. You know, yeah. audio books, stuff right. like that. Same it's here, all, man. 
Right. It's also you stay learning that way, right? Yeah. Like you stay informed. Yeah, I think. I mean, yeah, like, I guess that's, it's like going that's what to it school is. for a little yeah, bit yeah. every day. But the color thing, um, yeah. I mean, it, I'm really jacked up with colors because I'm like colorblind. So oh, what? I kind of, I kind of <laughs> felt that, that was coming. Crazy. So um, <laughs> you felt that was coming. Yeah, yeah. because he, how he breaks down his art is indicative to like. That's trying to figure out certain patterns for his work. It, uh, my my wife actually does a lot of the color picking for me. Oh, wow. Um, when it comes into even um, like murals or anything like that, she does. Or even like with the, my last show, we kind of went over the colors together. Hmm. You know, and and it, and if you look at the work, like you said, you can see where it's like, okay, you're going to put this color here, this color here, that color there. Does she, yeah. does she do art herself? Yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah, that, yeah. You can, she's an artist She's as well. an artist herself. Oh, that's really cool. Where can we see her work? On, I, her, her name is, I believe, Daisy underscore 2020. Dope. Okay. Very dope. Yeah. Check her out, guys. But she does amazing watercolor stuff. Is that what was on the, the background of the, 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 the Kiro's video? While you're talking, there's like a, a watercolor painting. Oh, or do no, you, no. Yeah, no, that was that's like yours? A, no, that was a, something I actually found on the side of the road. It was like an Indian watercolor oh, thing. Yeah. What? Yeah, that was a pretty nice piece. <laughs> it's so that that's that. So the color stuff is <laughs> I, I mean, I love so colors and I can see see colors. I mean, I'm not like see blue and I'm like, oh, that's green or something <laughs> right. like that. Okay. But like shades and and whatnot, so I I like to have like my color palette selected and know where I'm gonna put it. Okay. Because other than that, I'm that is so interesting. That or even or even the initial color uh, picking, you know, I can pick colors and they kind of don't go together, and I'm like, uh, what's going on here? And it's like obviously the colors, like yeah. you know, everything's else, everything else is okay, but the colors aren't really gelling together. So I like to kind of pick out my colors like, oh, okay, these colors go with these colors. And then... Do you label and stuff or no? Uh, no, not normally. You normally just... I can kind of tell like what colors or what. Usually I kind of... So a lot of the stuff I do digitally first. Mm -hmm. So I already know that where's what's going to go where. So I kind of like know my... Okay, so this color here. And I know that I'm going to put it there. So so digitally gotcha. you, could see, you could see the colors... You, no, yes, it's better. Huh. Because I still, when I do digital work, I still have a palette. Mm -hmm. I work off of a palette. Mm -hmm. I, I never go into something and just throw a color in there. there. <laughs> right, gotcha. right. Like, it'll, it'll end up not, not good. I always, and then it's the same, like, when I work with clients, like, one of the first things I do is, hey, what's your color palette? Pick your colors. Pick your right. colors. Yeah. Like, they pick their colors, and I'm like, great. And then I, and then I go and put them in where they need to go. Oh. I think it's dope though. It makes it a little bit more personal for the people that are like. Oh, for sure. You know, like, <laughs> they, they get I to get pick, their... pick the colors. <laughs> yeah, so. and you know, so that's. I think color palettes is is the way to go um, for me. I mean. Do you think you think it's because you were swimming in the salt and sea when you were a kid? <laughs> yeah. So, so <laughs> I want to go back to there? your childhood. Yeah. What, what, like I'm very curious. Oh man. So, yeah. <laughs> he was swimming in there he, swimming eating fish was, yeah. it, was it not toxic at this point no definitely okay. wasn't toxic okay. this was back this in the 80s, 80s? Okay. Yeah. okay okay when you when you move from uh, LA to out there I want to say it was like 87 80s okay. yeah I wasn't even born we weren't born no, <laughs> no not one so it, I, I must have I think I was probably like 7 no so it must have been closer to nine. I was born in 82, mm -hmm. so okay. it was, I wasn't in school yet, so I was like seven or so right in there, mm -hmm. right, right. and then we we moved out there because my dad had a home, we're not going to talk about the drugs and stuff like that, but he moved, he had like a home there, you know, because he would go back and forth to Mexico and hey. Los Angeles oh, yeah. and gotcha. stuff like that, <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, and then, you know, all we did was literally motorcycle all through salt and sea fish swim and that's all we did and yeah played with road Not runners much. and that's, that's on this side or on that side on the west side west side yeah oh. so salt city yeah, salt city. yeah. yeah. So, you know he did have like a mechanic shop there um like literally off i guess what the 86 is now mm -hmm. yeah. Right. yeah he used to have a shop like right on right off the 86 and 
That's what we did. That's dope. So being that you lived out there, and contrary to out here where there's like a lot more people, doing graffiti out there, was it more, do you think it was more of like a flow? You don't have to worry about like nobody like rolling up on you? Well, or like I didn't really do graffiti back then. Oh, I mean, okay. we did do a lot of like creative stuff because that's all there was to do. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, you moved out here young too? or no? uh, Yeah, we moved out here. I think we moved to Desert Hot Springs, I think. Okay, I don't. I think so that that's like the only places that I've lived in the valley is Desert Hot Springs and and Salt, Salt sea. sea. And I think we might have lived in Indio for like a year or something, mm-hmm. but it's it's always been D Town right. or the Salt Sea. And, and now you're commuting, right? You're you're Yeah. Uh well just because of the whole everything that's going on. Uh-huh. Um I just found more work in San Antonio, so hmm. Yeah, tell us a little bit about oh uh, what 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 pulled you that well, way? Well, it all. So when I used to do music, um, Jesus, during the kind of worm. D- during our like one of our tours, I I I met one of my good friends, Gio. He lives in San Antonio, and this was probably about six years ago when I first met him. And since I've met him, he's like, "Come to San Antonio, come to San Antonio. There's everything here. There's music. There's art. There's culture. Like everything." No income tax, no, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, like yeah, everything. Like he's like, you got to come out here, um, and we've thought about it like a lot, you know, about going out there, but also maybe having home here, home there, um, and then when all this stuff started happening and everything kind of shutting down, well, San Antonio was makes sense, kind of still popping, yeah, you know, and yeah. it it still is pop. It's a little scary. I'm not gonna lie. Um, how popping it is with <laughs> with every, the virus with going everything still? still going on yeah but they're, they're still making it happen you know right. and there's still work you know and so that's kind of you know what, can you be over here and work like just through your computer the whole time yeah for sure and that, that's how it started i was actually doing a lot of work out there already um you know doing graphics um there's like three bands that i do you know their album covers, their yeah. single releases, um, nice. Instagram promos, vi- uh, YouTube promos. So I was already. So, so doing your work is out there a lot. A lot of yeah, your work is yeah. out there, but not like you can't really take credit because you're, s- you're selling. Yeah. Like, well, you're working right, for right. for clients. sure. Yeah, exactly it's right. Dope. I'm not like, oh, this is my personal stuff or anything mm, like right. that. And during South by Southwest, which was going to be the first big move, it got canceled. Like that was going to be the initial move which was in March and we had everything packed up, ready to go. And then they were like, no South by. Yeah, and I was like, man. Oh, South by is so much fun. So that, 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 that was rough. We were like, okay, so what are we going to do? Cause I mean, we'd bought tickets, had work for the whole entire South by lined up. Damn. And then, you know, that happened and then everything started going down here where they did the lockdown and we're like i mean we're artists so uh-huh. we're already hermits you know we don't yeah. really right. go out where we stay at home we got the studio at home yeah you so know, you're saying we, you keep saying we like you and your wife yeah. collaborate a lot yeah oh yeah yeah you guys uh-huh. are that's all we do yeah. okay all right all right you know and that's on everything you know everything we do art video music she, she would have oh, been damn. here but we worked all this right. morning doing uh work for um with provoke Oh okay. With uh, Pete, yeah. Uh, with the mayor of Indio, we were there from ten this morning to come in here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, they're doing like a promo for their. Um, oh man, I better get this right. I think it's Inspire. Ish. Fun, fun yeah. of friends. Fun of friend. In, Enter it right. Yeah, enter it right here for sure. <laughs> I got you. Dope. Uh, <laughs> dope, dope. Uh, so yeah, it, it's it's for like the youth. Inspire okay. the youth. Um, yeah. Got gotcha. you. Yeah, we're gonna so, share that post yeah. on, on <laughs> Instagram yeah. and stuff yeah, for so, sure. So that's what it was. It was. It was. Uh, we we were there from ten in the morning to now. Like literally, I went to the house, did a quick shower, and came here. So the video work, the video, the video work that you're doing now. Um, because you, I was asking you. We were talking over the phone. I'm sorry, I have gum. I just realized that I'm probably been. Fucking... No, you sound <laughs> good, bro. <laughs> you sound good. You're good. Um. Here, you can have a piece of paper. I'll just drop it. Okay. <laughs> um, I wanted to talk about 
the video work the you said you were doing like drone drone work or just video work so i've i've always done like video work like 10 years ago i did like music videos for everybody in the Coachella valley like <laughs> like i probably did like 30 mm. music videos rap music, like and and i've always loved it i've i've always wanted to now i got a rattle <laughs> um, so i've i've always done like video work either for myself or i mean it all stems from like the music right the funk um <laughs> yeah the <laughs> funk like when i was in a band you know i started getting into graphic design so that i can do flyers t-shirts, t-shirts. Right. for our band so i got into screen printing because i needed to print the t-shirts yeah you know, I got into like the video stuff so that we can have content to post. Right. So it all kind of just started from that. And now, you know, I've played music since I was young, you know, so it, there's always been that need for, you know, promoting. Is this all self-taught? Yeah. yeah. yeah Which sure. one was your first love? Music or? or I would art? say art. Okay. I mean, I mean, I kind of consider them kind of the same. Um, but it was definitely art because I was doing it okay. since since i can remember like with music uh, i know renee would love to know oh what kind of programs did you use for, for music for music to produce your music oh, yeah like what? do you play any instruments or do you do it all no all? yeah I've, I've played guitar all oh, my life. so what kind of music um uh well when i first started off i, I it was all like like straight up like corridos and like mariachi stuff what? yeah like that because the like, family parties they'd make you make you what? play for everybody right <laughs> that's what it was I guess like mijo it, mijo enseñale la canción <laughs> that's <exactly what> <laughs> so that's that's what it was i mean wow. i have like pictures and videos of me you know super young like with my botas and like, <laughs> everything just like ready like singing for everybody and nice. so that i i thought i was going to be like a latin singer Ooh, like latin shit. like you yeah. know that's what i was going and then I kind of got into like middle school and high school, and then I got into like the rock and stuff like that. But the last stuff that I really played was reggae. So oh, like the before I got into like art, which was, I mean, I've always been to art. Like they've always kind of like coexisted. But up until about five years ago, when I went like full time artist, I was playing reggae. So I was, you know, touring with the reggae bands and stuff right. like that. Right, Did was. you have the dreads and everything? Yeah, <laughs> long, <laughs> long dreads. Hey. Oh man, we gotta get a pic. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I, I had some dreads and you know all of that stuff, and That's you know it was it was part of my life. I, this I mean, was I, this was when when you toured. Uh, so we stopped touring about six years ago. Oh, okay. And then that's kind of when I kind of went full time artist, and it has to do with a lot of not not being in control of of your of your destiny or your <laughs> of of your path you know because when when you're in a band you're kind of dealing with uh all these different you know you're, well, you're in a team you're in a team, you're in a team environment yeah, yeah. so it's yeah. like you know you, you're either pulling or or pushing or right. or you you're know, dragging along or you're dragging gotcha. along you know and and a lot of the guys that that are with that i was with super talented i honestly say that with most of the people that i was playing with i was like the least talented but i feel like i had the most drive right you know? oh, okay yeah. and that I, dynamic it was, was it was it, you out there. and it was you know it was rough so at the time you know we had done south by so that was like one of the oh, the, no. the the last big things that we did we did south by and we were out there for two weeks you know we weren't getting paid for it the best time of my life right like literally like that's that was like the best time of my life you know playing with with my friends every night you know multiple times a day you know we're the tightest we've ever been musically but not having the money and you know all that stuff kind of weighs down on you like oh like you know i've worked my ass off printing t-shirts and making sure we had you know merch and all this stuff right. and yet the money's going everywhere and like shit it's, life is hard bro. <laughs> so I feel you. so mm. literally when we got back from that tour i was like you know what you're done i'm done like yeah. 
that was like I feel like that was one of the t- the highest because you reached your high yeah. and yeah. you're like there's nothing you took control for but yourself. I, yeah. I always feel like those situations like that. It's like the best situations that you'll never do again. Yeah. Because it's such a lesson though. Like you mm. learn it's gonna well, yeah. teaches you something else about drive. He, he and learned all, that, all the. Right? That was what it was. He he went through the maturing stage. Right. It's like yeah. by by thirty two, thirty three, he's like, all right, it's I know like, what I know yeah, what I yeah, am. It's like art boot camp. Saw his potential. He was in that he was in that cocoon stage, like growing right. and developing, and now he's just beautiful butterfly. And you got to travel <laughs> to see the, and see the US, <laughs> sir. So so let's get into um, some current projects you got going on or stuff in the future that that you got coming out. Yeah. So so since since the art show. I've had a lot of requests for, um, cause I, I, I only produced, uh, it was seven like large pieces and then I produced, uh, like 12 smaller pieces, mm. all 12 of them sold out the day of the show and then one large one. And since I didn't really have too much like in between like pieces, yeah. you know, not, not a lot of them like people weren't going to buy like the huge pieces which were a little bit more expensive and the smaller pieces kind of sold out so i've been getting asked for prints so i opened up my i got my website um i since produced prints which are going to be on there and then we also did uh pins um our our friend um uh her her company name is uh, Leopard Spot Design. Right. She's, okay. She's Heard the of one her. that does the all oh, the wood stuff. The wood stuff. She's got the stuff. pins and the and the keychains, right? Yeah. So Fire. since the, since then, so I guess my kind of current projects has been working on my website and getting it getting it to go. where it needs yeah. to be. Because I've I've been trying to do my website for probably like five years now. Oh wow! Okay. And I've. You know, and I, I don't know if that's for everybody, but it's like the roughest yeah. thing to like work on your own thing. That's yeah. what we're at right now. <laughs> so, yep. so that's like, so that's that. And in, in as far as like an artist, like your best stuff is always the stuff you're going to be doing. So right. it's like hard. <laughs> it's hard to like put things on your website that you, that you're already past almost. Right. Yeah, I got you. Because you know, I've been asked for like portfolios and stuff like that. And I'm like, oh. Like you want me to show you the last stuff I did? Like, yeah, like I'm just like, wait getting, till I yeah like, <laughs> wait till I hit you started. with what I'm gonna do next. So it's always been rough on that whole portfolio thing, and and I I think my Instagram for now is is my portfolio in a way. Yeah. So I've never really done a website, but I'm like it's it's fully done now. So it's it's up now, but everything's going on there um, like on Monday. So. so so what do you think was that driver motivation? Um, to get you to, to you know, start push or like wrapping up your website or or the down the downtime that happened, man. Yeah, right. I mean, give you time. They're, 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 you, like, what else are you gonna do? Right. Like, you know, you're not gonna yeah. go out there. Continue and, you to know, procrastinate. Yeah. I, I think okay. we talked about it for sure. before, but I think it was a good uh, <laughs> it was a good break for everybody. You know, especially oh, people that sure. do art right. or creative, like. It was like a good vacation, and it's just like, wait, I don't want to do this forever. Yeah, yeah, yeah um, I do love doing shit like this. So, yeah, dude. Uh, and people have been I asking agree. for it for a long time. T-shirts, like, I've been holding off and like, oh no, this T-shirt's not good enough to go on there yet. Like, I'm gonna do something better. No, wait till I do something better. Then I'm gonna put it on. Yeah. There. And I'm like, okay, I need to just just do it. And well, I hope you go. I hope, I hope this helps you. It to stay accountable yeah, yeah we, sure. we're definitely going to try to <laughs> yeah. keep you accountable now well, well really monday sure. monday all of it will be on Th- these shirts are on there already nice okay. um so you can find these shirts on there the pins the prints and everything else that we're doing is going to be on there monday. let's do it we're going to yes. plug what's it a, what's the website name again? uh i believe in as one.com is there any merch that's going to be um at flat blacks is it no talks about uh that? we haven't we haven't done anything yet um i think i don't even know what's exactly going on with the kiddos ones i think i don't mm. know if he has some that he was going to be putting there or or they're just on his website i'm not, I'm not even stay sure. tuned yeah that should be good yes, well yeah. cool um well damn all right before we wrap up there's there's uh one question that i ask on all our guests um, and it's and it's if you can go back to a younger version of yourself, or cross paths with them, what kind of advice would you have for them? Ooh, 
well, I would say uh, learn, mm. study. Oh, um, I study. thank you for saying this because I wanted to talk to you about in that other interview. Sorry to interrupt, but in the other interview, you were talking about um, education, how you wanted to teach. Are you yeah. still pr- thinking about becoming a yeah. teacher, pursuing or yep. opening something up for, right. for with with uh, the thing we did today? Um, with that inspire the youth thing, I'm actually going to be doing uh, a class. Of Can anybody take your class? Yeah, it'll be it'll be. I guess it's mostly mostly uh, pushing for the like the youth, but mm-hmm. I think you know if you're you got the drive to do it. Right. I mean, yeah. I, what are the ages that you want to do? The, I don't any age. Youngsters. Oh, okay. <laughs> so what what is it? What like what are you going to be teaching? Um, color theory no i'm actually um, gonna do more of like a like video video production oh and like, sweet but kind of use, incorporating incorporate the art you know because i i think my art comes across in most of my video stuff but maybe it doesn't but there definitely is an influence mm-hmm. so i think I, I'm, I'm gonna start off but yeah definitely not color theory because i no i was a little color blind it was a little joke yeah, yeah. Probably. <laughs> that's but yeah, cool I, man i definitely yeah, want to teach i mean that that's Cause the, the reason why i'm asking is because i work at a school i'm not a teacher but uh, yeah. um uh also renee works yeah, worked, at worked for, for a work long time. you know work for schools and and i'm in the environment of um these kids these kids and so the like youth, I, I i i feel like that's that's our future and so like you have a big responsibility no i i definitely want to and then i've actually um what was it about last year um i went to a school and did a little talk and that was probably the roughest thing i've ever done oh yeah and that makes me want to do it more yeah you know what I mean? for sure like, yeah damn that sucked <laughs> you know i gotta get <laughs> i gotta the step it up like for sure you know like that was honestly do Seriously. you put pressure on yourself on your weaknesses? Oh yeah, you got to. Yeah, you got to. Is you that gotta, one of your? You got to make it. You, you got to have no, <laughs> no like weak points and and, and I found out real quick like mm. talking to to kids. They intimidate you or do they? It was. Well, uh, what is it? What is you it? You know, I don't even know. Like that's that's probably the rough part. Like, you know, I I was like I I wanted to be like a stand up comedian like and come <laughs> in there and like. Right. make the kids laugh and, oh, like, right. and okay. just like i don't know i like i i came in there with like a a, a higher like like energy and, yeah well expectation mm. oh, okay. like oh i'm gonna kill this shit <laughs> yeah definitely didn't kill it. crickets uh, oh yeah but, <laughs> like you, you know what what it feels to like bomb for that's, that's what it was like what was the what was the presentation was, about it was about my art and like um it was so it was like a career day and like it was, uh, well, they told me that it was kids that were interested in like graphic work, graphic mm, design work, right. you know, like that's what they, careers. And it's funny because I did it three times. So they brought in three groups. Oh, uh, okay. What, uh, so, what grades? Um, did it get worse? They were in middle school. So I'm thinking oh, like man. eighth grade maybe? It's the hardest. Yeah. Oh, okay. That was the hardest. Oh, yeah. Well, that's you, the hardest man. crowd, man. You, yeah, you started like in the deep end. <laughs> yeah. You so, started with second grade. They threw you in the ground, so, man. <laughs> By the third one, I was like, <laughs> okay. Um, the first one was like, oh, like. Was there teachers like patting you in the back? Like, no, it's okay. But there <laughs> was, the, the, it was inside really of the good. library. And actually, the the library, uh, oh, shit, I remember, I forget her name, but she saved me and, and kind of like, um, she like recognized one of the logos I did for like a local, um, a vendor. And she was like, oh, my God, that's this and this and that. So oh. she, like, brought the excitement to it. And, like, so kids kind of like, oh, really? Like, oh. oh. So he, Just like the oohs and ahs yeah, came yeah. out. <laughs> so I was like, ooh. Like, and then I actually, like, used her for, like, one of the, like, yeah. last, <laughs> last ones. I was like, oh, yeah, she even knows, like, you know, one of them. Oh, the, okay. so, you got to yeah, plant yeah. some. Throw me an alley So If you need us to grow. But that's definitely it, man. I, I, I want to teach kids and 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 get that. What is it? Um, I guess that skill of of really like um, invoking leading, yeah, know, yeah. Uh, the 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 spark. You know, I mean, I th- I think I can do it with art, you know. But that's a, something that's kind of like introverted. Like I'm in my own world doing this thing. Not really like. Do you yeah, do you yeah, do yeah. you read at all? The, like I know you listen to a lot of uh, interviews uh, or just people talking. Is there is there like a writer that you 
you uh, um, or or maybe a philosopher or, or no that some, or one of the last um books that i listened to um was um how to think like a roman emperor hmm. that's that's an Deep. amazing book yeah. Yeah. yeah like that's like it's 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 basically talks about like stoicism oh okay but it it takes um so it takes the experience of marcus aurelius uh-huh. um because he was you know very into you know being the stoic mm-hmm. uh, sto- in the stoicism and since there isn't like so much um literature and like writing of stoicism like i think there's only like one percent they say out of all everything that was done uh wow. prior so they took his kind of point of view on everything and it's it's pretty awesome pretty interesting yeah but Sweet. it's how to think like a roman emperor and it was my good friend ryan campbell that introduced me to that mm, book right, so right. i was like i'm gonna check yeah, it out that is, that is cool man i feel like i feel like an og stepped into our yes yeah. sir <laughs> no it's because like like we, we've like for for yeah. me believe it or not like p was a big influence when he was he was like our first as a team he was our first interview and it's the, the things that he said still resonate to me because um it, this stuff that you would probably hear already you probably heard it but it because it came from him mm-hmm. and now like it's, the stuff that you're saying is coming from you and it's relatable um i'm an artist as well um i can say like oh this shit is tangible like the things that you're saying um gives me the ability to to think and 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 perceive reality more you know yeah, more yeah. close hand that's so cool. that's kind of i thank you for that and it's really oh, cool yeah. well thank you guys for allowing me to yeah for oh, sure. and and if 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 you um wouldn't mind like if you're gonna be doing like uh, anything with kids and education stuff yeah like we're we're here for yeah, man. yeah let's do it like let yeah. us know we, we'll push it or we'll work it we'll volunteer or whatever if you need I a mean, stand a stand alone to clap in the back like, oh, yeah. <laughs> no. for the kids hit I them with you. the clap <laughs> <laughs> with the sign like, yeah. clap, yeah, clap. Bro. <laughs> no I, I mean i think this stuff that's going on with you know provoke and in uh CB trucks, Eric. I don't know if you oh, guys yeah. know. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, of course. So they're all putting that whole thing together, and I mean, I'm I'm all for it. I I told them that I'm 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 with them. Anyway. Were you a part of the the art the the packets for the students? Like the? Uh no 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 I I I, I kind of helped however I could as in like promoting and and donating and stuff like that. But yeah. you know that's that's about as far as you know because I didn't even really know that everything was going on. You mm-hmm. know because at right. that time I was in San Antonio. Mm-hmm. And then I would see like little things here and there, and I wasn't like super tuned in to what was going on over here. But now I'm part of the team, I guess. Like Sweet. This. Right. <laughs> so they told me they're like, "Oh, you're part of the team now." So I guess I'm part of the team. How do how do people go about also joining that? Um, I know if you follow Provoke, he has all the information. Yeah. Right. So sure. I would say follow Provoke on social Instagram. media, Instagram, yeah. Facebook. And he's got the whole Swing. thing on lock. Cool. Luis, any last words? <laughs> <laughs> Just want to thank you, bro. Oh, yeah, man. Well, thank, thank you. Guys. Thank you for the opportunity. Stay tuned for our next episode, guys. Sir. Yes, sir. Peace. Peace.